Hello, I'm Mike and this is Molly <laughs> and today we are going to make no-bake Snickers cheesecake. Um, it's vegan, it's, all the ingredients are wholesome, good for you, but they're going to taste amazing. They're going to taste really indulgent, <laughs> um, but still be better for you than lots of other stuff. Um, you, we're going to be using peanuts. If you want to substitute the peanuts for almonds at any point, it makes it paleo as well. So it's super wholesome and let's get cracking. So the first thing to mention is if you're watching this and you're intending to get cracking with the recipe, you're a day late. Because the first thing you need to do is you need to get <laughs> 290 grams of cashew nuts. You need to put them into a bowl and you need to soak them in water in the fridge overnight and they'll soak up all the water and they'll be ready to use. The first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the crust by adding the dates and the walnuts into a food processor. Food processor. Dates. That's 200 grams of pitted dates. We've got date pieces. There they go. Yeah. And we need 115 grams of walnuts. In they go. Awesome. Okay. Send to the side, please. Um, we need a responsible grown up to do this, but we haven't got one, so I'll have to do it. <laughs> right. take this and put it into a pre-lined with baking parchment or baking paper. We're going to put this into there. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to pop that all in there. Lovely stuff. Pop it down. And we are going to get a spoon. Excuse me. And press that down with the spoon. Has now been pressed firmly into the base. Okay, so that bit's that done. That was dead easy. I reckon the rest of it will put it to one side. Do you know what? I might even put it in the fridge. Why not? Why not? Put it in the fridge. Just a little bit. Okay, so next thing, the nut butter caramel. So in a small pan, this is down, <laughs> down here, small. what we'll need to do, we need to melt the caramel ingredients, which are two tablespoons of maple syrup. You got the maple syrup? There's the tablespoon thingy. Yeah, what do you now have to Okay. Okay, go on, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Fill it up. One, two, okay. Two tablespoons of coconut oil. The clear coconut oil there, Mom? No, that's it. Okay, same again. One, two, thank you. We now need two tablespoons. I'm going to do this a less accurately because I'm going to get, excuse me, the rub the peanut butter. So again, if you want to make this a paleo version, um, you can substitute peanut butter for almond butter. But it's we're... All just like it's just it's right. the good stuff. The only ingredients in this are peanuts, sustainable palm oil and sea salt. So there's no nasties in there. So I'm going to put two big dollops he likes peanut butter. Just peanut butter in there. there. <laughs> Two big dollops of peanut butter. You can you put the lid back on that? Take it away. Thank you. There we go. Um, and half a tablespoon of vanilla essence. Which is this thing. Which is that. So half a tablespoon. That's a quarter. Well, do you know what? What are we going to do then? Try and make it better. I don't know. Two quarters. 
come on, you, you were at school an hour ago, you can't have forgotten maths that quickly. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to... It's on my finger. Grab. Okay. Uh, you have oh. to. No. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't. Um, okay. And we are going to melt it on a medium low heat for about two minutes. to tonight, don't you? Okay. Okay, so that. Woo, you can't see it. So if you tip it up, it's going to come out. That goes into the fridge for later. I'll take those. Some of them end up all over the kitchen floor. Which is what I would do, so... Which would be funny, but wouldn't make us a cheesecake. <laughs> right. So that's the... Okay, so you place it in the blender with the remaining cheesecake ingredients. Which is... The coconut milk. So we've got... Half a cup or 125 mils of coconut milk. There she goes. <laughs> Not doing any of this then, so I don't forget anything. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Need the teaspoon measures, please. Oh, that's the teaspoon one. Two, yeah, one don't teaspoon. Try vanilla extract at home. It doesn't taste good. Yeah, don't drink it neat. Mm. Um, I found that the hard way. <laughs> Two tablespoons of maple syrup. Maple syrup, please move. Maple syrup. Pretty sure I'm not in shot if I stand up there. I've only just realised that. <laughs> so for most of this, I won't actually be there. Come down here. Uh, what was it? Two tablespoons of maple syrup. Love me, love me, maple syrup. Two tablespoons of coconut oil. There she comes. Three tablespoons. Coconut oil. One, two, three <laughs> tablespoons of coconut oil. And then half a lemon. So the juice of half a lemon. Here's half a lemon here. You see what I did there? Half a lemon. Oh. Half a lemon. It's Keith Lemon's dad. Haha. <laughs> Come on, it's better than that. Squeeze the juice. Oh, of half a lemon. Thank you. 
way across. Of course, which has been set in the fridge for how long would you say? I don't know. I, just, I, it, just, I don't even think it needs to go in there. I'll just put it in there. Get it out of the way. Mm. Okay. So. Dollop this on the base. Dollops. 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 in. Looks good. There you go. Can you start to flatten that out? This is something like dollop half of the caramel mixture. Dollop half of the caramel mixture across the cheesecake filling and then drag a knife or toothpick across the top to create the ripple the rippled effect. So we so want half of this. Here's our long toothpick. So we need to take half the peanuts or almonds and scatter them across the, the pan, pressing them into the filling. So we'll take half the peanuts, half these salted peanuts, and scatter them across the top. Mm. It now says, Looks nice. Cover the cheesecake and place in the freezer for four to five hours. Woo! So, I'm this video is going to be the longest video in the world. Should we just put it in the freezer and start recording again tomorrow? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Join us later to see how this turns out. Woo! Okay, all done. Let's see what we think. Well, you go first, Mal. <laughs> Is it nice? Mm -hmm. That's a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, it's cold. Mmm. Really, really good. Awesome. Really good. Okay.